Hey, in our next video, we want to look at the basic sword post of positions. In a future video, we'll look at motion uh, from posta to posta, but in this one, we're just going to look at the basic form of the postas. We're going to start in our first position in our left tail position. We see the right hand here in front of the thigh, basically in an iron gate position here. So this is our left tail position, square on, and then you can see it to the side and to the side. Now we take our next position, we turn the sword over and we come to the boar's tooth position here. And we can see the sword in this position is ready to make a rising cut from below or a thrust from here. We can see it from this position and also this position. Now we come to the middle iron gate position, the sword is right on the center line. Again, arms long, loose and relaxed, no tension, no holding. Nice, long, loose and relaxed body position from the front, from the side from the side. Now we can come and change our feet here. It's the swords in the middle so it doesn't care which foot is forward. We come, this is also iron gate position, but we can now come to the full iron gate position. And now we see our hands are back in that wrestling post to iron gate position. So you can look in the sword post as how the wrestling post is form the root of all of your positions. So we come to the full iron gate position here and here. Again, being very careful not to have any tension or holding up, up the sword. You want to be nice, loose, and relaxed, no tension in the body at all. Now we can also come to our right tail position, in which we take our right hand, put it on our, our left hand, and put it on our right hip, turn our body a little bit to release the tension, and we can come to the tail position. Again, here and here. This position could also be turned and weighted back to present a nice juicy target on the flank here and to obviously hide the sword. I can move in any position from there. I can transition and shift my body position and my facing with uh, Metsavolta and Tutavolta positions. Now we can come to our post -la Donna position. Square on. This is post -la Donna. This is post -la Donna. This is post -la Donna. E to the side. This, 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 this. All of these are post La Donna positions. Now we come to our Fenestra position. Center of the sword over our center, oriented to the center line. Nice deeply crossed wrists so the weight of the sword is well supported. Avoid this kind of position. Deeply crossed wrists. Hands held high. The sword should be above the head. Here. Here. Now we can come to Bicorno, center of the chest. So sword is held uh, in front of you on the center line. You should be basically looking right at the center of the sword. Okay, here, here, and here. It's in the middle, so we can change our feet. This is also by Corno. And then we can come to Fenestra on the left. Opposite, not cross wrists, nicely extended. As you can see, the left arm is in, in the same orientation as the blade. I'm not drooping, the elbow is nice and high and strong. Now we can come to LaDonna on the left. This is LaDonna, this is LaDonna, this is LaDonna. Okay. And then we can come to Posta Longa. Posta Longa, either foot forward. Okay. Short should be extended to full reach. Again, loose and relaxed. And that concludes our postas. We have also here our Posta Breve positions, left and right. We have also here our Frontale, our Corona position.